Are you trying to decide between the monogram and the demi bean? Let me help you. <laughs> my channel I'm Andrea today's video is a pros and cons a comparison however you like to call it between the monogram and the demi bean but before we get into all of that I invite you to subscribe if you haven't already and make sure you do <laughs> and whilst you're there you can ring my bell and a thumbs up it's always very much appreciated okay now that's all said and done make sure you're sitting back relaxed with your favorite beverage as usual mine is a glass of white cheers let's discuss monogram and uh, demi bean of course these are not the only canvases louis vuitton do they do the demi graphite then we also have the classic demi azure but today we are focusing on the monogram and the demi bean let me just tell you the colors of the other two that i've mentioned of course there's all the new ones as well that louis vuitton are now bringing out more and more you know with the big lvs which are absolutely beautiful and different colors but we are talking classics we are talking traditional today so um yeah so we have the demi bean which is the checkered and we have the monogram with the LVs and the little flowers and all of that. And then there's the azure, which is kind of the light cream coloured, which does darken with time with the grey blue squares. I'll try and insert pictures somewhere here. And you also have the demi graphite as well, which is more in the men's line, which is the grey with the black as well, which is also absolutely beautiful. But like I said, we are focusing on the monogram and the demi bean. Of course, the demi bean is the original canvas. Now, the Louis Vuitton canvases are coated with PVC, which makes them waterproof, scratch resistant and fireproof it is said it's something i ain't burning my things to uh, check that out but that's you know because of the pvc coating it makes them fireproof it makes them water resistant and it makes them scratch resistant so the classic demi bean was invented and introduced by louis vuitton himself and then the monogram was introduced by louis vuitton's son George, who did this in memory of his dad to honour his dad Louis Vuitton. Therefore, he added his dad's initials LV, LV Louis Vuitton. So that's just a brief little history on the canvas. And of course, I think it was in two thousand and six that Zur was introduced, and now we have the graphite as well, and then all the others. Okay, well that's a brief bit of history on the canvases. Let's talk about the pros and cons of the canvases. Now, more often than not, the monogram is finished with untreated leather and the demi bean is finished off, I'll just get my never full, with the treated leather which is a uh, kind of a stain resistant type of leather because it, it is treated it is also a harder leather than the soft untreated leather let me get my push it metis because it has more untreated leather on it now when you first get the monogram the untreated leather is a really light colored cream leather um but through time it changes and it becomes this what do we call this kind of a caramel color and the longer you have it the darker it comes now a lot of people don't like this untreated leather because it can stain let me show you I have lots of eye candy for you today so I have the Kipo with the untreated leather and this got caught in the rain in Cyprus of all places a place where they pray for rain I got caught in the rain as I was going into the airport and as you can see it has stained let's try and get this to focus it has there we go I don't know if you're going to be able to see it there's quite a bit of rain staining or water staining 
on the untreated leather which some people call vachetta some people call vachetta i call it untreated leather makes life a lot simpler but you know through time you know all these stains and things you know they, they kind of blend in and they become part of the item part of the history part of the love part of the wear it's all part of it now i did a comparison with my daughter-in-law with a demi a bean never fought my never fought and my daughter-in-law's um never fought which was in monogram and i'll link that video below it's really quite an interesting watch because you can see how the two bags compare now ruth's um bag her never fought is I think she got hers two years after I got mine and hers because of the untreated leather and the softening of the untreated leather looks <laughs> older should we say looks old looks more worn than my demi have been so that's something to bear in mind you know if you're somebody that worries about staining and what is about the item looking more aged then you know the monogram with the untreated leather is not the one for you of course now you can get the monogram with the treated leather for example my little palm springs mini it has the black leather which doesn't show anywhere now you get a lot of items now in the monogram line with this black leather which some people prefer because they're quite frightened of the untreated leather and i have become a little if i had to be honest a bit frightened of it so if i'm out with my pochette metis and it starts raining my immediate reaction is to protect this part of the bag and more often than not i'll stick it under my coat or whatever and that's because you know we're here on youtube and we're watching it all the time you know if i um if i wasn't on youtube i probably wouldn't have even known that and i i probably wouldn't have even protected it and i probably wouldn't have even had the pochette metis if i had to be honest because <laughs> this is a definite youtube made me do it but oh i'm so glad youtube made me do this but um yeah so that's one thing to bear in mind with the with the monogram with the untreated leather the other thing is with the never falls what I found comparing my Neverfull to Ruth's Neverfull was I found hers a less structured than mine. Um, uh, uh, Ruth's Neverfull tend to kind of flop in a lot more than mine. I mean, I've got mine stuffed just now, so it's you know it's sitting upright, but it, it does tend to sit more upright than ruth's monogram bag again i'll have the video link below and you can see the differences and that video was done a few years ago and of course these bags the never thought is a workhorse and um, i forget now what weight these are designed to carry but they really are a workhorse what i did find with my um demi abine is and i've seen a lot of people say this on videos with the demi abine you tend to get this showing through let's see if it's going to focus can you see the red of the inside of the bag showing through so traditionally the demi abine is always finished off with the red interior of course now that's changed as well you can have a choice of interiors but traditionally demi abine always has the the red interior now what see with now with that red showing through that's actually can you see where the bag has been stitched and that's kind of the excess so i'm not worried that that's kind of the inside of the bag and that there's going to be a hole inside of the bag if that makes any sense it's kind of the bit that's over stitched anyway i'm not worried there's, there's no trace of where inside the bag is what i'm trying to say although you can see that bit of redness there it's not the redness here it's the bit that's been sewn in any basically don't worry that there's going to be a hole inside your your bag 
so that's the differences so more often than not the the monogram has the untreated leather and the demi bean has the treated leather and you kind of get that corner wear with a lot of the demi bean you don't get it with this because it doesn't have that kind of overlay stitching so you don't see it on the demi bean wallet as well and again this is another piece this is years and years and years old and you know there's there's no wear on this wallet at all and it really does get used there is a bit of stretch in here but i used to literally fit my phone in the back pocket there and i you know sometimes when i just want to carry a wallet you know i can still fit my phone in there and that's what i love about this wallet but it's not about the sarah wallet i do have a, a review on this and i'll link that below as well so that's the differences of the monogram and the demi bean the monogram does show aging more than the demi bean because of the untreated leather it's also said that the monogram makes the bags look more like a casual looking bag as opposed to the monogram which is more dressy i would tend to disagree with that i think it's the style of the bag because when you look at something like the petit mal in monogram that's not a casual looking bag for me that is a very classic stylish looking bag and i would happily wear the petit mal as a dressy bag for going out in the evening not a problem so I think it's more of the style of the bag and again I think the untreated leather can make the monogram look more casual than the uh, demi bean let me know what you think which canvas do you prefer which do you think it's dressier do you think one's more dressier than the other let me know in the comments now a lot of people will say that the um, untreated handles on the monogram bags are a more comfortable handle than the treated ones because these are a lot more they're harder not as soft as the untreated leather now in saying that I've seen a lot of videos now where the leather is this color and it is said that it is treated although it will still oxidize it will still darken I don't know I've never had this kind of untreated looking leather that's been treated so I'm just talking about untreated leather here. the other thing that's very noticeable with the monogram canvas is that when they use one continuous piece of canvas you will see that the LVs on the one side of the canvas are upside down and on the other side they are the right way up because the canvas goes all the way round so that's another thing that's really quite noticeable with the monogram canvas as well so if you're a bit OCD and like things to look all in line and perfectly that's something to be aware of that if you're buying an item where they're using one continuous piece of canvas the one side's going to be upside down <laughs> And you can also see that on my Pichette Metis as well. You can see the front flap here. The LVs are the right way up. But because the canvas goes all the way onto this back pocket, you can see the back of them there as well are upside down. And honestly, I've only just noticed that. <laughs> So if I had to choose a canvas, which would I choose? Well, honestly, it depends on the item. It depends on how much I was going to use the item, how I was going to use it. So, for example, if you're a person that has a lot of shoulder problems and you're looking for more comfort on your shoulder, then I would advise you go for the untreated leather. But be aware that it will show wear more quickly um than the treated leather when i say wet i don't mean like it's gonna fray or it's gonna fall apart or anything like that just the color change you know it's you, it's gonna get dirty basically as much as you wash your hands and try for it not to get dirt it will eventually get dirty 
but it is said that it's more comfortable. I don't know. I haven't used it. I've always used this one. I don't really have shoulder problems. You know, if I fill this bag up, I expect it to be heavy. You know, it's a tote bag. If I'm going to use a big bag, then I'm using a big bag because I want to carry a lot of things and I'm expecting it to kind of weigh my shoulder down a bit. Yeah, but a lot of people will say that when you watch reviews, that the softer leather is a much more comfortable leather. Again, for me, this is the traditional Pochette Metis, so for me it's the classic. The monogram for the Pochette Metis is the classic. I would more than happily get the Petit Mal with the monogram and use it as an evening bag. So it really, really does depend on the item that you're buying and your preference. You can't go wrong with either. You just look at it and you go, that's the one I like, or that's the one I like, or whatever. Anyway, that's my quick comparison of the canvases. Don't forget to let me know which is your favorite. And um, I'll catch you next time. But meanwhile, I'm gonna link a video here, here. And if you're not already subscribed, I'm even gonna put the A right here for you. And I'll see you next time. Bye. Cheers.